and searching for a killer. Baltimore City Police are asking for information to help solve a recent shooting murder in the case that left a transgender woman dead. WJZ is live George Solis with the latest on the murder investigation and reaction from the transgender community. George. Marcus, the victim is 32 year old Crystal Edmonds. Of police tell WJZ while they are aware sometimes the transgender community is targeted, they say it's too early in the investigation to say whether it was a motive in this killing. Baltimore City Police on the ground on the search for answers, stopping and talking to anyone after a violent shooting left one woman dead. I heard a couple of gunshots, but I didn't know this was taking place. Police telling WJZ it all went down early Friday morning in the 3600 block of Fairview Avenue. Officers arriving on scene to find 32 year old Crystal Edmonds, a transgender woman suffering from a gunshot wound to the back of the head. She was taken to a local hospital where she later died. Police now working to find a gunman and motive. The transgender community sometimes is a vulnerable community and are sometimes targeted, um, sometimes unnecessarily, uh, by people. And we're not saying again that this is the reason for this incident, but it's something that we need to put on the radar. Residents have also complained about prostitution and other crime in the neighborhood. That's also now part of this investigation. People in Baltimore's transgender community tell WJZ they are heartbroken by the loss. One group even offering grief counseling. Hearts and ears sharing this message on their Facebook page offering peer support during this time of grieving. Police also offering help through their LGBT liaison, Sergeant Kevin Bailey. There have been lines of communication that have been open that wasn't open before. Um, we're moving forward, I think, definitely in the right direction. Now, we also reached out to the Baltimore Transgender Alliance, but they were not available for comment. I'm George Solis reporting live. Now back to you. All right, George, thank you. And according to advocacy groups, Glad Edmonds is the 21st transgender person killed this year.